I'm so glad to be here running another Mar though. It's been, it's been totally insane. Uh, totally insane. And it means a lot to me to be back here doing Mar. I absolutely love this campaign. I love this story. I love this group. I love my players. I love you guys. I love my audience. I love everything about Mar. And it makes me very, very happy to be doing it again. And even though I didn't have time to prep like I wanted to prep, and even though I feel nervous and anxious, I'm just so excited and it's going to be so much fun. I'm really, really looking forward to this session. Even if it doesn't go great in terms of what I expect, you know what? It's going to be a whole fucking lot of fun. And I'm really, really excited for it. I'm looking forward to sharing it with you guys. So, uh, man, we're back. <laughs> thank you for DMing tech. We love you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I start and end my work day with Mar. Nice. <laughs> if you're nervous, just picture chat naked. But now I'm just like incredibly turned on. I can't. I can't. Metalist was talking about how much he was twerking earlier. Now I'm picturing naked Metalist twerking. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's impossible to make Metalist uncomfortable. Oh, okay. It's literally impossible. <laughs> we, if anything, we have to dial Metalist down, okay? <laughs> <laughs> See, Metal said, it's not hard to picture. I just have a bony ass, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Does it ever go how you expect, though? I guess that's a good point, Hailstorm. It never does, does it? <laughs> Oh um, man, yeah, you cannot make him squirm yet. No, can't. <laughs> um, man, uh, I'm looking forward to this. I, I, uh, we're we're in a we're in a massively critical part of Mar. We we left off. I feel so bad for you guys because I already have so much written and I know so much of what's going on that, like, I know what the next steps are but boy oh boy did the last session ever leave off on like a giant what the fuck comes next kind of moment i can't imagine what that must have been like not yeah right such a critical point it left off so man oh man must be brutal i apologize thank you guys for being patient and uh we're gonna be we're gonna be back at it and uh we're gonna be we're gonna be playing and uh it's gonna be amazing uh I, i'm 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 really we need an epic recap i know it's gonna be a bit of a it's gonna be a bit of a weird recap because uh because um bup, 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 bup. uh because i didn't have time to write it all but it'll be good don't worry it'll be good It'll be good. It'll be good. Okay, I'm gonna unmute myself and jump into chat with with the players. <clears throat> Enjoy the ride, chat. I'm covering you up with my D and D notes now. You're gone, but uh, you're still there in my in my heart and in reality as well. <laughs> I just can't see you. I'm like a child. I closed my eyes, which means that you you've disappeared. Uh, okay, I'm gonna unmute myself and jump into uh, jump into chat with the players. <clears throat> oh, hi there. Hello, you're being a goof. A little bit. A little bit. Hello. 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 Hey. Long time no speak. I know it's been a while, man. It went by so fast. Yeah, weird. Yeah. Oh. Your microphone, dude, last deal, your microphone sounds amazing. Did you get a new mic? Who? You. Uh, I made a few adjustments to my current mic, but uh, yeah, other than that, no. Sounds excellent. Wow, it sounds, it um, it sounds amazing. Yeah, wow, yeah, I'm oh kind of jealous. Buttery smooth. Yeah. Um. Okay. Okay. Wow, and even Galdrick is here on time. What? <laughs> wow. so, so, so listen. Yeah. First off, fuck you in this meme. Okay. Number two. <laughs> um, you were late twice. Okay. I need to. I need to have something. <sighs> okay. So, <laughs> all right. So, so, um, Flynn wanted me. Boy, uh, you don't have a sponsor right now, right? 
Uh, no, not not currently. I'm, not, but you've made me incredibly nervous with that opener. <laughs> okay, Jeez. So, so so Flynn wanted me to tell you uh, that uh, she wants you to know how much I love you and this session mm -hmm. because uh, she is. We we just finished a good two hour sesh. If you if you catch my yeah. drift, and we were just laying in bed, both yep. naked, just chilling. You know the aftermath, and I was like, well, babe, I. I gotta go. And she's like, wait, but what about round two? And I was like, babe, listen, Galdrick calls. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> two, two hours? What do you do with the other hour and 58 and a half minutes? We watch TikTok. Ah, fuck. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Yeah. An yeah. hour okay. and 58 minutes and a half? Yeah. Whoa. Oh, I meant uh, 59 and a okay. half. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. <laughs> Jeez. Sometimes I mess okay. those numbers up. Okay. <laughs> no, that's fine. No, that's, that's, no, that's just great. I mean, it, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna jump back on the Milton ass tiny hands thing. I defend you so much. This is what I was I talking about me. I was also talking about Milton and also me. Oh, well, in that case, uh, <laughs> wow. your, your hands. Oh, are that's cool, hands. Dude. No, that's no. Your hands that's are huge, cool, man. No, I get it, dude. Don't no, worry about don't, it. That's yeah, awesome. huge. No, that's wicked. Yep, G gigantic. Cool. I you, listen, I'm just. How about so that used recap? Ripped on. Yeah. How about the recap? Yeah. I have Wait, missed man. you. I am not used to hanging on people that are positive and kind and saying wow, good dude. things. Wow, I know, right? I'm not used bro. to this. Do you hear that? <laughs> you hear that? A guy gets a guy gets married on the weekend. Can't even go a week without oh, his I close even personal friend, <gasps> Venilis. Fucking him over. Can you can you believe that? Yeah, I wasn't and even invited. Venice didn't even oh, show up to the wedding. I can't even didn't believe even it. Show up. Didn't, didn't even, even show up. Yep. Didn't even sh I had to be the best man. Sent, sent like both literally, we had to VP and an invite. Yep. Both. Wait, no. Wait. Yep. And oh I had God. to be the best man because you weren't there. Uh -huh. I got vaccinated but just so I could go. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Damn. <laughs> you know, it's it's okay. I I. I I went through the trouble of getting my passport all in order, waiting for an invite, and you know, I was, you know, it's okay, it's okay. I still love Milton, but you know, that's that's no, two hundred dollars I'm not getting back. You know, so I, you know, I got him consider, the shittiest gravy boat off that registry. It's fine. Consider right? that. <laughs> consider that your wedding gift to me. You're welcome. What for not showing up? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want for your wedding? You not to be anywhere near it. That's all I want. Oh, no. <laughs> oh man, man, oh man, guys! It has been a while since we played some Mar, hasn't it? I don't even remember how to play this. A fucking hot minute, ma'am. I know. Well, I changed the rules on you guys for oh, right. one episode. Sheets this go around. No, you guys don't have character sheets. You don't even have rule sets. You guys have literally nothing. You don't even know what's going on. Like oh, we had just upheaved everything. Yeah, I know. Um, so right. uh, just a, just a forewarning. <clears throat> I had planned to do a giant recap of everything. I was going to listen to the previous session and recap everything that was said. Uh, but um, my, uh, my, my midday responsibilities uh, bled over a couple hours longer than I was anticipating. And I literally finished writing the session uh during the pet picture intro so nice there okay the recap is gonna be a little bit light and uh we'll deal with that how we deal with that that's, sounds that's, good man that's how so, we do yep so i'm so on, a, on another little side note uh i just realized how long it's been since we've had a session yeah because about a month ago uh i had a i had a computer leak right my, my oh PC that's right strung a leak in it everywhere right yeah well it also dripped in, just in the in the correspondence of where my headset is on its headset rack underneath my desk is yep. right where the leak sprang and it got soaked all oh, the water that no. leaked would drip onto my headset Ooh. and i was i was gonna be like oh it's okay he's gonna do he's gonna do his recap i'm gonna put on my wireless headset and just go you know get a drink of water you know do my do yeah. my you know that's what i usually do yeah so i don't i don't miss anything and i picked it up and it is Ooh no! I just realized that that happened, and uh, oh no, man! I don't know if you know what mold smells like. Oh Ooh, dear! Not I do. Great. Yeah, no, not good. Oh, I gotta buy me some replacement ear pads. That's oh great. man, that's what sucks. a bummer. Yeah. Also, is it water in those in those liquid cooling systems? Yeah, yeah, it's oh. uh, it's water, and it's just water, but it has uh like some electrolytes. It's what computers crave. Oh, like Gatorade? 
yep. straight Gatorade. Because it's, right it's only it's blue. Gotta be blue. It? Oh, it's it's got to be blue. Yeah, yeah no, blue it's Gatorade not, in no, there. No, it's not blue Gatorade. That's not a flavor. It's blue blast. Okay, I so, am no, terribly sorry. It, no, okay, well, it okay, tastes well, flavored like blue. Because it was blue. Okay. Why are oh. we? Why are we quoting a documentary? <laughs> True. <laughs> well said. Well said. Well, let's get to the back. Okay. The the thing. Okay. I will start by welcoming folks to our tabletop RPG stream called Monsters Ain't Real, where we use a uh, homebrewed 5e improv system to enjoy some good old fashioned RPG fun set in a steampunk universe. Fuck yeah! Uh, to anyone who's new, <laughs> all the old episodes are up on YouTube. And the podcast is uh, currently uh, still being populated. More and more episodes up there. Uh, so we've got the podcast too. But first, you know, hold on. Before you do the recap. <clears throat> yeah. I actually have a, I, I have a thing to add, apparently. Oh. Because people were memeing on how much I hate fucking steampunk and yeah. blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So it turns out I apparently only hate despise specifically victorian steampunk is what it's called oh. oh so i didn't know this i thought the steampunk was all encompassing that really over the top golden gears mm -hmm. fucking magnifying glasses like i thought that was all steampunk but apparently steampunk in the specific is just the world in which steam is the main source of power not the oh the, the, the cosmetics i didn't know this i had no idea either yeah, that's what I, I thought. I thought steampunk was was all encompassing trash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But someone was like, and then someone was like, you know, Full Metal Alchemist is considered steampunk, right? <gasps> and I was like, wait, what? And they're like, what? yeah, go look at it. The whole world is steampunk. Like it's 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 a steampunk universe. The whole world is steam, and they just don't use that cosmetic. That cosmetic that you hate is called Victorian steampunk. I had no freaking idea. Yeah. Wow. Learn something so new every I've day. I up with the steampunk a little bit. Yeah, well, uh, this yeah, is... Uh, Victorian Steampunk yeah. <clears throat> is trash! So let me Rest just... Not yeah. too bad. Yeah, okay, so I have, I have one uh, addendum to make then. Uh, Monsters Just Ain't Real, where fuck. we are currently using a homebrewed 5e improv system to enjoy no, some good old-fashioned no, 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 RPG no, no, fun no, no, set no, no, in a I Victorian like steampunk well, universe. Do you want to there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for making sure that I specify exactly what kind of steampunk this is so that I know you hate it. <laughs> um <laughs> okay, we, me. I'm just staring at the floor crying. No bully, <laughs> no bully ventilus. Yes. Listen, that's the universe. It was Victorian steampunk before I knew he hated Victorian steampunk. And now <laughs> he's just gonna have to finish his steampunk before he gets his red ice cream. That makes sense. That, I, that's <clears throat> that's reasonable, honestly. Exactly. I don't even care. My chicken's gonna be here in ten minutes. I don't give a shit. <laughs> uh, okay, so I do have a recap, uh, and, and it's it is as comprehensive as I could remember based on the little bit I was able to listen to the last session. If you remember something, just uh, uh, just interrupt me screaming a whole lot and um, and just say whatever it is. is and, that during the narrative intro. Yeah, during the narrative intro and at any other point ever. Okay. Uh, no, please don't do that. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if, if I miss something in the recap, just let me know. Okay. So, uh, blah, blah, blah. Disclaimer, I already said. Didn't have time. Uh, excuse, excuse, excuse. Apology. Uh, oh, shit, I was supposed to cry at this point. Um, Try a little bit if you can. Okay. And I just really wanted right. you guys to have a good session. Good. Just That's wanted good. you to have some fun. Pull it back. You're losing them too much. I really need yeah, to be I my friend. You're channeling Kirby now. It's Kirby time. Yeah, that's Kirby. We went full Kirby now. Yeah. No Love, that guy. Love that guy. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Last time, you guys arrived in the gold ink itself on a giant floating city uh, surrounded by a setting that is alarmingly <clears throat> Victorian steampunk. Uh, <laughs> after, listen, I Googled, I li when I described the world to you guys when i described the city i was looking at pictures of like victorian england steampunk like the the literal description <laughs> that i gave you guys i get it i get it i get it we get it we all get it we all get it we all get it okay we all get it okay we all get okay, it good. it's the worst we get it <laughs> um 
Okay, so uh, you guys you guys arrived in this world, uh, and then uh, after catching a ride with Bob Chicago and the Go Go Boys, you arrived in the palace of the city's gods, and there you met Odin, Thor, and Lucia. You were taken to a back room with Lucia to discuss the mission, and that's where you had kind of this massive dump of lore and information, and you were, we kind of left with an imminent decision, like you guys are about to make a huge fucking decision, and time is a factor. Oh, so, here's a recap of the stuff you learned, and what you were thinking of doing next. Uh... Volos is currently holding every living being from the white ink in a giant fortress with a quick portal. question because yep. this, this this is related yeah so because one of the things now this might this might this is gonna sound fucked up okay so i'm just gonna yeah. preface this by saying that this is purely posed yeah as an inquisitive and probing nature into the lore and not in any way representative of my own my own personal views yep how, how many people are in the white ink compared to the other inks? I mean, you know, it's with, we still got like five other inks. He's threatening <laughs> one sixth of the inks. Fuck them, dude. Yes, what the and fuck? So, yeah, exactly. And so this was the thing that was kind of mentioned, but I don't know if it was driven home. <clears throat> He's not threatening to kill them. He's threatening okay. to destroy them and their ink such that uh. they can never be rebound. There would be no rebinding of the prime oh. You guys would no longer be able to complete your mission ever. Oh, yeah. Okay. Never yeah. mind. Now I understand the direness exactly. of the situation. Part of it is the massive loss of life. But the thing is, you guys want to kill everybody anyways with the rebinding. Right. This yeah. would destroy them in such a way that they would be dead, gone forever, and no way to rebind the inks. So that's why it's Got a big it. deal because of the blood, the unique properties of the black hole uh, means that it would erase them kind of thing. See, Galdrick isn't super against that because then he could just reshape all the inks in his image. The oh my God. <laughs> I did a pretty good job with the blue ink. That's Jeez, all I'm ever since, ever since you went to Reaper school, man, it's all been about <laughs> remaking everything in your image. <laughs> Reaper school was bad for you. The one Dude, thing they taught you not to learn is like the only thing you learned. Dude, I'm just telling you right now, Draco could have been like a killer Ravenclaw, and look what we fucking got, all right? So yeah. they, they, they put Goldrick in the reaping school, all yeah. right? They put fucking Draco in Slytherin, look yeah. what happens. I know, no, you're not wrong, man, you're not wrong. Um, so, not yeah. Draco. <laughs> Dude, are you kidding me? What the fuck about you're, 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 you? You are literally Ocean Voldemort. That's what you are. You are three. <laughs> you are three foot tall Ocean Voldemort. Don't try to tell me you're not. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> um okay so yeah, okay so that that, that yeah. explains the so that's a he was saying i will kill i will kill everybody and destroy them completely and annihilate them such that good luck with your mission fuckhead exactly yep exactly um so lucia here in the gold ink also known as lu4 knows of a way for you to destroy the black hole that would remove Volos is kind of like smoking gun kind of thing. Um, or I guess not smoking gun because it hasn't been fired yet. So the, the pre smoke the, the normal unfired gun that's loaded precariously pointed where you don't want it pointed. Um, but in order to do this, it will mean that all four of you will need to be planar keys. Uh, she can prepare you to become planar keys and teach you the ritual. But when you do it, it will draw Volos's counterattack extremely quickly, quicker than you can react. So, when Volos shows up, because he's gonna show up when you do this, this is literally you are countering his 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 trump card kind of thing. Um, when he shows up, you need to hit him with everything you have, just as hard as you can. Hold nothing back. Just, like, don't worry about secondary blowback. Don't worry about anything else. Just hit him with everything you possibly can and try to create an opening. Just any split second opening that you can to escape. Because even if all four of you are planar keys, he's too dangerous. He knows too much and he has the cube and you just, you won't be able to beat him. So you need to hit him and then just escape in the moment that you stun him. Um, 
And, uh, oh, and as soon as you do, you need to lock the planar keys in the chamber. Like, that needs to be part of the action, because he'll come for you. He will be aware of the fact that you're planar keys at that point. He'll know how to combat it, and he will take the keys. So you need to put them in the chamber, because he can't get in there. God. <laughs> this is bad. And we kind of ended with Lucia saying that time is incredibly important. At this moment... Time is Volos's resource, and the more you waste, the more dangerous he becomes. So she is incredibly eager to get things moving. She is exactly one step ahead of Volos, and by losing time, you could lose that one step. So she's been kind of pushing you guys. She's like, okay, I'll teach you the ritual, and then I'll prepare you, and then you gotta go. And you guys were like, hold on, hold on. Let me think, let me think, one second. So you guys were trying to discuss a little bit of making sure you know what the plan is and see if there were any alternative plans, you know, uh, that you could think of. You had a couple plans. Uh, none of them really held a lot of uh, uh, merit in that uh, Lucia was seeing ways that Volus could kind of get around that. But that's basically where you guys are. You are uh, standing in front of Lucia in the chamber in the back of the palace. Uh, and she has said, when you're ready, I will show you the ritual. I will prepare your bodies and um, then it's go time. It's time to close the close the black hole, fight Volos, uh, escape, uh, and seal the keys. Okay, now, okay. So, <laughs> did any Thor or Odin... Uh, having like alternative plans. So know? no, they're like, not even in the loop. They don't even know about okay. this mission because um, Lucia will be sacrificing her her city. Oh, that's uh, right. Yeah, she will. The Fuck, the other gods will no right. longer be able to keep it. So she's going to pretend like nothing changed, and they're not going to understand why their city is not able to fly anymore. Can you quickly explain why? why she, how this is her sacrificing her power is it because she's giving up the planar key which she is in the gold ink so yeah so she is part of the planar key she fragmented okay. herself kind of like the person in the green ink right gotcha okay but uh the she did it differently she didn't divide the power and then put it into people okay she divided the power and put them into things so part of her planar key was in the gold thread that was woven into Lou's third eye. Okay. Part of the planar key is in Lou 2's goggles. Part of okay. the planar key is Lou 3, literally the little gold buddy. Okay. And then the other part is in her crown. It's in the it's ah, in the jewel in her crown. Gotcha. And so okay. she could die and her the people who were homes to the soul could die but they still wouldn't recover the planar key. It, and she scattered them, you know, through the inks. She didn't keep them all in the gold ink. So it was her way of protecting the gold key from uh, someone like Volos. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. And now, if I'm not mistaken, Lou ha basically has access to three of those four pieces. She basically, Lou, Lou is about to get the full key. Lou is, yeah, is imminently okay. going, she's going to get all the pieces of the key uh, and, um, and, and become a planar key. And so what that, wrong? and so that, yeah, and so that yeah. piece of the, that piece of the key that was in Lou Four's crown, yeah, the power that was imbued in it is what gives her city the ability to fly and maintain its like buoyancy or whatever. Yeah, cause so basically, their city is the biggest city and the most powerful city in the entire world. Is and, it Asalon? Uh, Asgard. <laughs> Asgard. Yeah. Asalon. Very different. <laughs> um, okay. Asgard. Yeah, got it. It's Asgard, and basically okay. through her power and the power of Odin and Thor, the three of them, as well as all the steam engines that they have, that's what keeps it flying. So when she gives up her peace, the city will just not quite be able to stay up. It just, got it. it's not going to come plummeting to the earth, Sure, but it's just, it was enough it was power to keep it going. Yeah. And yeah, it just won't have enough to maintain its altitude anymore. Got it. So her plan is to park it on a, on a, a mountain saying okay. we need to gather a bunch of materials and then continually make up excuses on why they can't leave and they'll just never leave and it'll probably be revolts and civil Mutiny war and, holy shit. and uh, all that but she thinks that you guys will complete your mission before 
you know, they all die. And even if they do all die, I mean, they're going to die anyways in the rebinding. So it's just kind of a okay. grim, grim acceptance Jesus. kind of thing. Yeah. All right. Fuck. So, yeah. I'm still not totally convinced we're the goodies in this fucking world. <laughs> we're the what? I'm still not convinced we're the good ones in this universe. You know? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So that's kind of the recap. So uh, we will do the narrative camera. And then, you know, if you guys have any other questions, uh, we can address those and we can kind of get spun back up to speed. Sure. Okay. <clears throat> Time for the narrative camera. I've missed you guys. I've missed you too. Missed you more. The camera opens on faith. The faith that the party carries from everyone they've ever met. The faith of Lou too. His unerring belief that the party has what it takes to see this journey to the end. His absolute conviction that they've come this far, farther than anyone else. They have to be strong enough to see it through. The faith of Kirby. Unwavering, pure, unquestioning faith in his friends. They're the most important people in his whole life. And if anyone can save everyone, it's you guys. The faith of Arinda, Tom, Betty. Having seen you guys in action and owing a debt of gratitude to all of you in some way. They have complete faith that you're the ones that will both save and fix the universe. The faith of Ula, Risco, and Ramadant in the green ink. They saw you match Volos, match an Oberith, and literally go through hell and come back. The faith of the Pantheon of Gods in the green ink. Saloon, who gifted you her weapon. The faith of Bahamut for your divine forgiveness. And the faith of Ogma, who you hugged. The faith of Jack Cobb, now the Kraken and protector of the Blue Ink. The faith of Tickles the Devourer, once Scourge of the Seas, now right hand to Jack to protect the innocents. They've seen the power of you. They have no doubt of what you will accomplish. The faith of Lucia, greatest weaver in the known multiverse, who is so sure you will accomplish your goals that she will sacrifice her own world for you. If the people who you love and who love you believe in you, what could possibly stop you? If kings and queens, commons folk, children, friends, and enemies all believe in you, what could possibly stop you? Probably nothing. And so I say charge on, you unstoppable force. You carry the faith of billions from the soil of your home to the gods of distant lands. And then we're back. What a that bump up. I cool. love that. Holy shit, that was fucking wicked as fuck. What the hell? Okay, I kind of hate you because you're very, you know, you very pump up, yeah. very pump up, and the entire time I was waiting for you to be like, but I <laughs> know, yeah, <laughs> you guys are fucking awesome. You guys, you guys have proven to so many people, gods, demons, the the highest of the high to the lowest of the low, all fucking believe in you guys. You've convinced everybody. But you didn't mention Gerby. Does Gerby care? Does he care? <laughs> um, did I not he say Gerby? Did you say Gerby? <laughs> I don't know. No, I guess I didn't. Gerby's in there too. Okay, thank goodness. Yeah. Okay, great. Whew. Now, now we can go. Yeah. Uh, oh, I think I said. Uh, oh, when I was saying kings and queens, common folk, children, I was talking about Gerby. Absolutely. Yeah. Just, no, but yeah, I did. I did not mention him by name. <laughs> just, I'm just poking at you. Yeah. Okay. So you guys are inside the uh, small back chamber of uh, the uh, uh, palace in Asgard. Lucia's standing there and she's basically told you guys uh, uh yeah. does anyone does anyone else think maybe we should uh you know get some practice first it seems I don't know. like a lot to kind of jump right into usually with a key it fits like a glove like as you saw with Galdrick so as long as I think you're attuned to it 
it should be as easy as breathing. Yeah, but, you know, Slump once thought that he could share a pair of pants with his friend Jeremy. (laughs) (laughs) It turns out he absolutely couldn't. (laughs) Oh my god. (laughs) Jeremy, Jeremy got... And he's making like a like a scissoring motion with his hands. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you know, and then he's making the motion like like food tumbling out of a barrel. All of his guts. <laughs> Please, slump. You know, so when you say fits like a glove, slump's not sure that he understands that expression. You follow? Um. Oh boy. Well, maybe maybe I can assist with this. Uh, um. <clears throat> you have a brain, right? <laughs> Why'd you why'd you laugh? Okay, anyway. <laughs> okay. Well, when you when you, once once it fits, you know, like a good pair of pants, um, it it's as it's as simple as thinking. Uh the only practice you really need whenever it comes to the uh, using the power of a key is your imagination. Whoa. <laughs> Slump is and drooling. Your slightly. imagination <laughs> your imagination is I like to do like a very wide gesture. Pretty fucking out there, so I think we'll be fine. One, <laughs> <laughs> how big it is, Mr. Teen Shot. One time, Slump uh, was going to go eat a squirrel, and guess what he thought it was? Uh, c- no, hold on. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I, take, I take the sugar out of Milton's pants. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and Slump, Slump is now simply twiddling his thumbs as the rest of the party continues. <laughs> I love it. So good. <laughs> Thought he was gonna eat a squirrel. No, wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. Um, uh, I'm so, sure he'll be fine, buddy. So yeah, Lu- yeah, you got this, Lump. Lucia kind of uh, looks at you and says, um, "It, I, it would be great to have you take it for a test run." and learn the limits uh, of what you can do with it without being trained, but there just isn't time. And that's why I'm saying when when Volos attacks, just go as hard as you can, and there will probably be collateral damage. I, I won't deny that. You will, you will destroy a lot in your attempt to hold off Volos, but it's the only way that you can buy yourself enough time to escape. Lucia, I, I, I hear you that we're really on a on a time crunch here, but is there any way, there's so much I want to talk to you about. Is there any way we can communicate after this? There will be time. Uh, you will go do this. You will succeed. And there will be one step after. We will discuss that after you're done this. I don't want to trouble your minds with that now, but after there will be one more step, and then we will have lots of time to talk. This is just a stopgap to make sure Volos doesn't do what he's thinking of doing. Exactly. Okay. I do want to stop Volos. It, he, he would okay, ruin everything. He He's a ruiner. He is a ruiner. He's ruined just about everything all along the way. Well, I'm ready. Give me my key. I'm ready. Let's do this. Yeah, let's take it. You're ready? Oh, Does it have a seatbelt? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, so did, you, did you ask for a seatbelt? Does it have a seatbelt? Um, Let me use it. <laughs> if I'm getting a seatbelt. Slumpy seatbelt, keep me a seat. If you want a seatbelt slump you can make, you can think of one yourself. It sounds like it sounds like Slump's pilot might need a seatbelt right now. <laughs> and Slump's pilot are fucking fine. <laughs> <laughs> and they're both ready for a seatbelt. Okay. All right. All right. If you're ready. Then we shall begin. Right is a very strong term. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> so we go, we hit Volos. Well, we do the ritual. We hit Volos. We leave while he's staggering. We drop the keys off, and then we're ready to plan the next part. Precisely. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. I'll now prepare you to receive the keys.
And she has you all get down on one knee. And she walks up to you, Locke. And she touches your forehead with her index and middle finger. And you feel something strange, yet familiar. You've wielded prime ink before to augment your body and to augment your mind. You've been suffused with otherworldly power before, but you've never felt the touch of a planar key like this. And you've never felt your body changed in such a way. You feel full, like your meat fills out the skin tightly but comfortably, and you feel strong, like your muscles could tighten forever and you could move mountains. But you feel hollow. You feel like there's a gap inside of you. You feel like a lock ready for the key. And lock, you are now ready for the planar key. And Lou, she then moves over to you and she touches your forehead with her index and middle finger. <clears throat> and the golden thread falls from your third eye, Lou, and the gem in her crown stops glowing. And you feel a surge of power, like a dam opening. It's overwhelming and crushing, or at least it should be. But there is a gentle guiding hand easing the rushing water into you. You had a taste of planar key power as the green planar key, but this one is meant for you. This is you, Lou. You can feel your thoughts touch reality, and where they meet, creation explodes. She takes her fingers off your forehead and she moves over to you, Galdrick. She touches your forehead with her index and middle finger. And Galdrick, it feels absolutely surreal. You only thought that the key returning to you was a sense of overwhelming power. And this is the difference between being a sword master and becoming the sword. You feel reality flow out of your fingertips. You feel thought and time and space flow between the strands of your hair. You can smell existence, and you can see the fractals of reality that shape creation. You fully accept and become one of the blue planar key within you. She takes her hand off your forehead, and she goes over to Slump. <laughs> and Slump, she leans down, and she touches your cheek, and she whispers in your ear. This will not be gentle. I am sorry for the pain, Slump. You are very brave. <laughs> what? Then she stands up, she kisses your forehead, and then she puts her index and middle finger on the spot she kissed you with. And at first, it feels rapturous. It feels like eating all the magic you could have ever eaten while back in the white ink. It feels like being satiated for the first time ever. The hunger goes away and you feel content. But then something deep within you rises up like an angry abyssal monster and it tears away at your insides. It feels like fire with teeth trying to eat its way out of your stomach and chest. Your bones ache, your teeth clench, and you feel like you're going to explode and implode at the same time. You shake violently, your fingers crack the tiles as you find yourself down on all four. Rage overcomes you. Rational thought leaves. You become murder incarnate, and slump goes away. There is this brief moment where you are about to lash out and tear at everything around you. But then, Slump comes back, weak and clawing for control. The slump inside strangles the abyssal beast. You embrace the fire and the teeth, 
It scourges you, but you embrace it. You open your eyes, in control, but racked with pain overwhelming. You are ready to receive the white planar key, but only for a very brief period of time before the beast inside will take you over again. And Lucia backs up. And she says, You're now all ready. Galdrick, you are the blue planar key. Lou, you are the gold planar key. The other two, you can go receive your keys at the bar. Please be swift. Talk to Lou too as little as possible. You need to get the keys and go. The ritual that you need to perform physically is very simple, but mentally is what is challenging and what matters. You need to get as close as you can to the black hole. Then you need to focus your energy on yourself and focus your energies on each other. It must be circular, the support of yourselves on yourselves and on each other. And you need to focus on the past, important moments that have meant something to you, to you. And then focus on the future, a future that you believe you are convinced you can make happen. Then you need to find your true strength and it should reveal itself to you. And when it does, you need to focus on that with all your might. Forget everything else. Focus on your true strength. That should close. No. That will close the black hole. I can do no more for you. I no longer have power. And it's on you to make this happen. And she bows. And she says, I'll see you afterwards. And she leaves the room. No pressure, right, guys? Fuck. I think, I think Locke just quietly gets up and it's clear that he's trying to focus to get back, like, like channel energy to leave. Yep. Like, he, he, he knows Lou, Lou yeah. too. Yeah. And uh, if this is a part of him, this is serious and he has to go. Like, we, we got to do this. When you focus your energies to leave, a portal begins to open from the other side. And you see a portal to the bar open. And it is the power of the green planar key reaching back to you, Locke. I think he turns back to the party. He's like, I think I'm ready to poke out a red eye. I'll see you on the other side. So, um, real quick, before you before you do that, before you walk through the portal, uh, Galdrick's been trying to think like of any fucking way to how to combat Volos. I've been racking my brain. No, no one else has no one else has a key yet, right? Uh, Lou does. They're all ready for it, but no one else has. Lou has the yeah. The Lou, Lou has the gold. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I want to say, uh, just, just, just literally give me 60 seconds. Lou, I want to try something. What is it? And without telling her what I'm doing, Galdrick thinks that the way the key works is based off of imagination. You know, that power, that, yeah. <laughs> that will of thought. Yeah. I want to use my power to suppress that imagination within Lou. Oh, interesting. I want to see if I can use all of my power to essentially keep her from thinking. Very interesting. That's super cool. Um, Lou, uh, okay, I'll tell you what. Galdrick, roll a d20 and you have to get 
a 15 or higher for Lou to not notice. Oh, nice. If she notices, then she has a choice to resist or not. Let me suck like it. My, my, my desk is covered in wings! <laughs> <laughs> Flat 1d20. Here we go. Okay. 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 So actually, this is probably good. Yeah. So Lou, that's that's what I figured, right? Like if if you if it's so quick that she doesn't even know, then you would succeed and not know that you could resist a opposition. Um. So Lou, you are suddenly aware of a, of, of a of a power trying to suppress your thought. You you feel okay. like a haziness and a dullness start to overtake your mind. Uh, would you like to allow this or would you like to fight it? I would like to fight it because I imagine Volos will. Yeah, okay, so now you will both roll d20s. Uh, Galdrick, you roll at advantage because you've been a planar key for longer. Okay. Nice. And it's just higher number wins. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, with a natural one. Um, <laughs> what could happen? Yeah, so, Lou, you basically uh, you kind of turn off. You're you're just you're just kind of standing there, blankly staring. All input is just completely filtered. Nothing okay. nothing gets through you. You're not receiving any input into your mind. Oh my god! Am um, I like in the back of my mind at all, kind of thing, like observing, or am I completely absent? You're. It's basically a waking unconsciousness. Yeah. So you, your consciousness is now sleeping, but your body is awake. That's cool. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, Galdrick, you just see her glassy-eyed, thousand-yard stare. Okay, after I see it work for, you know, 30 seconds or so, I'll, I'll stop it. Yep. I'll be like, okay. Ugh. Sorry about that. I don't know if that's going to work on Volos or not, but that's kind of all I've come up with. It's a good idea. Yeah. Uh, I got the idea him. from him, and I just pointed slump. <laughs> <laughs> what? Don't worry about it. Okay. Um, hasn't he been, like, really... <laughs> And slump is flexing for like a long time though wouldn't he be ready for that he might be he might not have you ever had somebody try to stop you from thinking like <laughs> blind you sure restrict you yeah uh cut off your arms sure but to stop no the one, process of thought no one ever tries to stop slump from thinking okay oh boy it's just not a whole lot to stop okay <laughs> listen maybe we should <laughs> maybe we should maybe it's time okay Okay. Uh, to the bar. To the bar. Can I? Can I? I, I want. I want to sort of n know more, but without you maybe giving away any secrets or anything, mm -hmm. I want to know more about how the white planar key is like manifesting itself in Slump. Can I like roll to see how Slump can sort of test where he's feeling? the like the power is he just feeling better in every single way possible is it is it sort of the same way that you described it? like he feels fuller in his skin like he could test he could t uh flex his muscles to infinity and shit like that right now you and Locke actually feel more like a hollowness because you don't actually have the key oh, yet oh yeah oh, you guys have been right. prepared oh, yeah so you're gonna go to the oh, bar see, to I get see, the I keys see. yeah i see okay sorry all right Raj. yeah okay you guys would you guys like to proceed to the bar and uh, get your keys i think so let's do mm -hmm. it Okay, uh, Locke has already opened the portal and you all step through into the bar. And there is this look on your faces of, I imagine grim determination. Uh, you just hero went time. through uh, hero time. And also I, I don't think any of you were ready for that experience that Lucia yeah. gave you. And so, and you know what you're about to do and what the consequences are. And so I think seeing the looks on your faces, uh, Lou to Orenda, Tom and Betty, they just kind of step out of the way and nod their heads. And um, Locke, you do catch out of the corner of your eye. Uh, you do see Lou too. And um, you don't you don't often see him without his goggles on. He does take them off every now and then. He doesn't live with those goggles on, but never in front of company. And right. this time you do see him in, in full view of everyone else with just his his brilliant, um, deep blue eyes kind of looking up at you as you walk by. Just 
admiration and pride in his eyes. I think Locke just, he keeps walking. Like, he, 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 it's not like he doesn't want to say something, but yeah. this is too important. Yeah. I think, if anything, if he does say anything, um, it would be as he leaves. Yeah. And probably along the lines of, don't forget me and I love you. Yeah. And I think, uh, you walk into the chamber and, uh, you touch the, the hand of the divine building with the green key in it. And it just <laughs> swirls into you. It just becomes part of you. Like as if, as if it was not where it should be. And now it is. And you feel power that is hard to describe because you've had the power of creation and technically prime ink is more powerful than a planar key but this this is limitless this doesn't have a usage number or 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 it will never dry up it is infinite power of creation and and uh and control and so it is at once different and the same to what you've felt and slump when you touch building and you get the white key it starts to flow into you and then that beast from down below kind of grabs it and oh, fuck. it's in you the white key is in you and you can wield it but you kind of have to wrestle it away from this beast inside you this 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 darkness that wants to consume and destroy it uh, you kind of have to fight with it in order to even feel the presence of the of the white planar key. Sure. And to answer the question, like where you feel it, you kind of feel it in your in your lower chest, but it's kind of like your whole chest. Interesting. It's like kind of where you feel it. Got turned into an engine. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Uh, and now you now all four of you are planar keys, and you're ready for the next Fuck. step. Uh, you guys need only to travel to the black hole. Godric, I was thinking, with your trick of turning off his thought, what if another one of us kind of replaces it right away, like some sort of, you know, quick swap, like as if we're replacing maybe an idol in a cave, and there's a boulder maybe coming down for us, you know. Um, but yeah, so it seems like we're still fighting him, so maybe he'll resist less. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Like, like practicing some sort of like thought kung fu where you put you you put you put the person's thought out, put a new one in. Like you could make Volos think, "Hey, I want to be friendly now." Oh, that too. I was just gonna say have him fight an imaginary foe of us, but that's true. Maybe we just oh. change his mind. Oh, maybe that's not so easily done. Oh, man. <laughs> he seems like a pretty stubborn guy. That's true. Okay. Well, Joy, should is there anyone else we can talk to about getting some tips on how to fight him? Slump's never really fought a guy like. And he's doing like the the not for this, not precisely like this. He's alluding to the copyrighted uh, intellectual property of Jack Sparrow hands. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's imitating Polos. It's like, Slump's never really found anyone who does a whole. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know? Slump's never. <laughs> Slump's never fought someone who's all. <laughs> so, um, so, should we. Is there somewhere we can go to practice to learn how to, how to fight that? This I don't is think the there's practice. time. Yeah, sadly. <laughs> oh, boy. It's okay. All Come right. here. I'll give you 10 seconds. Come with me into the chamber. I want to run inside the chamber. Yeah. No, that's de it's delicate in there. <laughs> no, it's yeah, fine. You're right. you're right. You're right. Come here. <laughs> okay, what? Okay, once we're inside, the, are we inside the chamber? Yeah, you guys are inside the chamber. I just throw a fireball right at his fucking head. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, what is the first thought that crosses your mind as soon as you see a fireball coming towards you, Slump? Just, just first thought. Scream it into pieces. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, roll a d20 slump. Uh, <laughs> uh, slump basically does a foos roda that causes like the walls of the chamber to shake 
as the fireball explodes into tiny little pieces <laughs> that pop into little multicolored fireworks. <laughs> Good slump. Training's done. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> any, um, any questions? No, so, uh, well, Slump is just going to try to shout Bully Dog into pieces then as soon as he sees him. <laughs> Sounds good. We got this, bud. Come on. All Time's right. of the essence. Okay. And I'll yes, Slump would, Slump would prepare for the... the uh, better thinking members of the party to prepare the next stage of the plan. <laughs> Slump should probably not be the one making the the strategic decisions. <laughs> I put the I put the monocle in his eye. <laughs> <laughs> um, Slump can most definitely say he should not be making the decisions. <laughs> yes, definitely not. Definitely not. Oh, if actually somebody could vamp for me for thirty seconds, I really need to wash my hands. <laughs> bam, bam, bam. Um, well, bam, bam, I guess bam. the question honestly is which one of you would like to open the portal to the black hole? Oh, mm. true. Well, the black hole's in the waiting, so maybe it should be Slump that would open it. Yeah. I think I I, that. And I, I think that it would be, I think it would be confusing in every which way for um, Volos because I'm sure that um lou no offense didn't have some monopoly on being able to like perceive the per the the existence of ink so i think volos had a pretty accurate perception of slump's capacity to wield power like this and probably assumed it was nil now not i think it would just be the element of surprise would be better because it's not like he'd go oh fuck that's galdrick like i know what galdrick's yeah power level feels like and now he's got a key it would be what the fuck is this opening the portal to the to yep. the white ink he'd have yeah, yeah. no fucking clue so i think it yep. just makes sense to be slump. yeah okay slump uh roll a d20 to open the portal <laughs> we have company over i can't do that <laughs> Ooh, oh nice. wow okay uh slump you think of home. Oh. You think of your home in Cowhearth. You think of where you met everybody and okay. the adventure that you've been having. And uh, yeah, you, th you think of home. And when you kind of just kind of reach your hand out, uh, you feel that darkness inside to kind of reach up like it. It, there's going to be power used and it wants to use it. Oh God. But with a simple thought of home, that darkness is completely squashed and um, you move your hand in kind of an instinctual gesture and a portal opens up to the frozen North of cow hearth where the black hole is and it's very close you have been very close to this black hole in fact you've been inside it and torn apart by it true so probably some not so fond memories of this spot uh, yeah that's true oh my God. and uh you guys uh step through the portal and you are in front of this giant giant half of an orb half of it is is inside the planet and the other half just kind of towers above you and there is this pull this this very very bad pull from the black hole on you guys as you step onto the snowy ground and witness this giant black hole in front of you uh fucking crazy what, what, what is there is there any sound no, there's the the only sound is kind of like um you know when you play Phasmophobia and you go inside the house, there's that kind of like oh yeah oh, that oh, yeah, oh, kind of dude, sound. Okay. There's just kind of that oh, where it's just kind of like pressure on your ears kind of thing. Oh fuck! Is the only okay. thing that you really feel is that pressure on your ears, and other than that, there's nothing here. Fuck. Um. And uh, you guys are ready to do the uh, ritual. Let's get as close as possible here. Can we see uh, where it's okay to stand? Where it's can we kind of identify where it's safe? Uh, not really. Uh, you just know that it doesn't feel very good where you're standing. Yeah. Slow, slow has an idea. 
Okay. We, 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 we got to pick where we're going to go. Let's pick that. Let's pick. So do any do any spots look a little more stable, like a little piece of fucking pavement that's formed a circle or somewhere, some little pad that's just flat and or um, is it all just horrible falling apart like a fucking it's, pie crust? It's kind of more like a giant pristine snowscape with no ah. trees, no nothing, just okay. snow sitting around. Okay. And it just kind of ends abruptly in black hole. Okay, hold So you fuck. can kind of walk you you could theoretically walk up to the event horizon. Oh god. <laughs> uh, no, thank you. Yeah. Um okay. Um slump. Mm, yeah, okay. So all right. Well, well that slump thinks we should he's going to feel us. We're all here now and the time is ticking. Slump thinks we should join arms and support each other and then slump thinks that we should look each other in the eyes and say something that we like about each other and remember that as soon as he pops up, even if it's while we're talking, we hit him with everything we have right away and hold nothing back. Nothing whatsoever. That's I, true. I, but we gotta make sure to close the. We want to make sure to close the hole first. Oh, fuck the hole. <laughs> close the hole. Throw him in the hole. Okay, let's close the black hole. Let's go. Join arms. Oh god. Okay, so I, uh, I, uh, I. Uh, oh boy. Oh boy. I just thought I. Oh. Okay. Um. Hit hit him with everything we got, right, Slump? 